what we are looking at here is an old Jacksonville ceiling fan in white and polished brass finish. With these lovely cane blades and an Emerson K55 stack motor with a rubber flywheel. One thing about this fan is that this one blade right here got mega screwed up. Like it is so badly warped. I really don't know how that ended up happening, but it actually doesn't affect the fan's operation very much. Also, it's made entirely out of plastic, as far as the switch housing and motor housing go. Blade arms are metal, canopy and downrod are metal, but everything else here is plastic. And the, the blades are the regular wooden blades. And this also had some chandelier type light kit on it at one point. I'll go ahead and start this up on low. I bought this from Spencer at Fanimation. And I did not want the light with it because I did not like that light kit. So I opted to go without the light. As far as the model name for this fan goes, I really don't know. I'm not even really that familiar with old Jacksonville. However, I know later versions of this model were sold under the American Pride label. And because this one is old Jacksonville, this is an older one. Looks like two of the blades might be worth, but especially that one is really bad. All I really had to do with this thing was clean it because there was so much dust in that flywheel and in the motor housing there. But other than that, the bearings are still quiet and didn't really need much of anything. Here's medium speed. So the funny thing about this fan is that earlier this year, I don't remember what month, but this thing was listed on Facebook Marketplace in New Jersey, where I live. I mean, it wasn't where I live, it was quite far, but it was in my state. And I had plans to go pick this up. However, I had a class to be at that night and I couldn't pick it up until the following day. So the seller agreed to hold it. I had plans to go pick it up and everything. And then all of a sudden, you know, this was on a Thursday. I was supposed to pick it up on Friday. So that Thursday night, I get a notification that the listing was deleted. And I told the seller, well, you agreed to hold it for me, where to go? And the seller was basically playing dumb with me saying oh we talked yesterday not today and just making up a bunch of excuses and yeah that's pretty much how Facebook marketplace BS works so Spencer ended up buying this instead I mean he did not know that I had already been in talks with the seller so I wasn't upset with him or anything about it. I was just aggravated at the seller. Go ahead and bring it up to high speed. I 
Oh, I'm glad to finally have this. I even asked the guy, can you mark it sold or pending or something? Because I knew he was going to get a lot of messages for it. But he did not agree to do that. He just said, oh, I promise it's yours. Don't worry about it. definitely not that powerful it's actually quite sluggish compared to a lot of other fans it's also got this nice tassel for the pull chain and we'll do spin down real quick So yeah, this was another one of those aggravating marketplace deals with a crappy seller, which happens all the time. One more thing about this is I really wanted to install this in my garage where that Emerson 1895 is. For those of you who are familiar with that I wanted to put this there as a permanent install however the Emerson 1895 is 42 inches which barely fits and then this is 48 so unfortunately it just will not fit which really is a bummer but this is one of those fans I would like to find a permanent spot for it one of these days And that is all I have for this old Jacksonville ceiling fan.